All right, this is from the third review homework. This is page 207, number 32, or sorry, number 35, which states that f and g are odd functions and that h of x is equal to f of x times g of x, and we're supposed to prove that h is even. Okay, so the big question, I guess, is how do you prove something here? But let's start with what we know. We know that f and g are odd. So I'm going to write down what that means. Well, an odd function is when the f of negative x is equal to the opposite of f of x. Okay? So these two statements are true for us. Okay? We need to prove that h is even. So I'm going to start with what h of x is equal to h of x is equal to f of x times g of x. Okay. Well, I can see that if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x, that means that f of x is equal to the opposite of f of the opposite of x. Okay, So I'm going to change f of x into the opposite of f of the opposite of x times the same thing, the opposite of g of the opposite of x. Okay, so I'm gonna, I haven't done anything that's illegal. I'm just using the information they give me here. And now I'm going to see what I can do with this. And my goal is to get h of x equal to h of negative x. Because that's the definition of even. Okay, I can't start with that because that's what I'm trying to prove. So I'm going to start with this. Okay, so now what I see is that negative times a negative, those can basically become positives. And so what I have here is f of negative x times g of negative x. Well, I know that h of anything is f of anything times g of anything. So what this thing is, is h of negative x. Okay, and so notice what I have here. I have h of x is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this. And so I have h of x equal to h of negative x. Well, that's what I wanted. Okay, That proves that h is equal. Okay, And that's it for that one. The key is knowing these definitions. Knowing the definition of odd, knowing the definition of even, and be comfortable playing around with those things.